This video is all about important vocabulary words that you need to understand and use when writing or speaking in a world history class. Take notes on the definitions, but be sure that you listen to the explanations as well. There are 16 different words we're going to cover in this video. You've probably seen most of these words before. But it's important for you to learn what these words mean in connection to the study of world history so you can use them in writing and you can use them in discussion in class. The first word is agriculture. Agriculture has to do with farming. The official definition of agriculture is the science and practice of farming, including growing plants and raising livestock. And livestock means farm animals like goats or cows. The definition of bias is a preference or prejudice that prevents one from judging fairly. Bias means that you have an attitude or a point of view that makes you see things differently, often unfairly. You can be biased against something or biased in favor of something. Climate is a word you've probably heard before. A lot of people think climate and weather mean the same thing. Now they're connected, but they're not the same. Climate refers to the long-term prevalent, or general, weather conditions of an area. It can include temperature, rainfall, humidity, wind, and other weather conditions, and can change by season. Contemporary basically means the same as modern. It means referring to current times, the opposite of past. It's a fancy term for nowadays, or current. Context is the circumstances or setting in which an event occurs. It's the background knowledge of the situation. When we learn about an event, in order to understand it fully, we have to know the context of the event, which means what happened leading up to the event and what else is happening at that time. Cultural diffusion is very important. It refers to the spread of ideas, inventions, or patterns of behavior to different societies. Cultural diffusion happens when two different groups of people start interacting with one another. It's almost like a monkey see, monkey do situation. Two groups come together and their culture, which includes their language, religion, technology, they start to kind of copycat each other and learn about new ideas, inventions, or practices from another group of people. Culture is a group of people's way of life. This includes their language, their behavior, their traditions, and their beliefs. Groups of people living together in an area develop and share a culture based on a number of things, including the climate and the natural resources in that area. Domestic refers to one's own home country. It's the opposite of foreign. In class, we use phrases like domestic problems, which means problems within a country, domestic trade, which means trade or economic activity within a country, or domestic policy, which means government decisions, laws, or programs dealing with issues within one's own country. Economic refers to the production and use of goods, natural resources, and wealth. A good way to remember this is that anything having to do with money or the value of things can usually be described as economic. Export is a verb that means to send resources or goods to foreign countries for use, sale, or trade. Export means that we are sending something valuable from where we live to another part of the world. We export things we make, things we raise, and natural resources. This can include cars, furniture, food, beef, lumber, or even diamonds. An import is the opposite of an export. An import is something that is brought in to a country from somewhere else. Resources and goods are brought into a country if they are not available or if they're too expensive to make locally. An innovation is a newly created or introduced idea, method, or technology. An innovation is a change to the way people do things, a brand new style. There are innovations in cancer treatments, car technology, education, and many other areas. 
Innovations are important in history because most important changes or revolutions start with an innovation. Perspective is one of the hardest but most important things to understand in history. It means a person's point of view or way of seeing and interpreting events. Everyone has a different perspective and a perspective is affected by their gender, age, race, religion, political beliefs, and especially the time period and location in which they lived. Political is a word that refers to the government and government policy, which is a government's decisions, laws, and programs. Political also refers to the government's relationship with the people that it controls. Many people incorrectly think that the word social means having to do with friends, like social life, social time, or social network. In reality, the word social covers more than that. Anything having to do with how people behave, interact, and organize themselves can be called social. Social history is one of the hardest but most interesting types of history to study and looks at how different groups of people have treated each other in the past and why. Nowadays we think of technology as being iPads or smartphones, but that's incorrect. The word technology refers to any tool or method people use to solve practical problems and increase efficiency, meaning get more work done faster. The wheel is technology, as are zippers, remote controls, and hammers. Political, social, and economic are three very important historical adjectives or describing words. We're going to use these words almost every day. Usually, we will ask you to describe a historical event as either political, social, or economic. So here's your hints. Anything having to do with the government is usually political. Anything having to do with money, wealth, natural resources, or the production or sale of goods is seen as economic. And anything having to do with people, how they treat each other, and their patterns of behavior is social. The tricky part? Many times a historical event can connect to two or all three of these words, so make sure you know them and are comfortable with them. 